Dr. Neil Martin, he's the chair of neurosurgery at UCLA Medical Center, is here with us to talk about this tragedy. Dr. Martin, thanks for being here. Yes, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Thank you. you. Natasha Richardson basically died from a bleed in her brain called an epidural hemorrhage. I, I want you to, to explain a little bit more to people why and how this can happen. Well, it, it's, it's fundamental. The skull is very hard and the brain is very soft. And they don't always move together. So when the skull stops suddenly, the brain continues moving and it collides with the inner surface of the skull. And furthermore, once, once the brain starts swelling, there's only one way out of that compartment. And it's, it's through these openings at the base of the brain. And the syndrome that occurs from pressure due to a growing hematoma is called herniation. That is, the brain tissue gets forced through these narrow openings and that process stretches blood vessels, damages the brain, causes bleeding to occur in the brain. So that is a, that is a catastrophic event. And, and not very common, right, Dr. Martin? You know, it's not common to have an epidural from such an apparently minor fall. Apparently she fell on the beginner slope, got up and seemed to be okay for a while. But I have to tell you that an epidural hematoma is a blood clot that forms over the surface of the brain. It can enlarge silently over minutes or hours and it's the one kind of problem that can be associated with what we call a lucid interval. You have the injury, you're okay for a while, and then you start going downhill. Increasing headaches, repetitive vomiting, confusion. And when those signs appear, then precipitous deterioration, rapid deterioration into coma can be right around the corner.